at The Infinite Today by the TC people. Let's get right into it. Why not? Because what the crap is an infinite? That's what it is. I, years ago, I don't know if that's English, I, years ago, reviewed the Electroharmonics Freeze. And there are a whole bunch of these Freeze kind of pedals. And uh, let me show you what, 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 what they do. I think that's all it could do if I remember correctly. It had a level control. That was it. But there's a lot more you can do with this technology. You could layer. You could add effects to it, which would be cool. You could, which would be very cool, actually add reverb to it so that when you're playing on top of it, it's not just dry because it's kind of kind of boring. <laughs> You could determine how long the chords fade in and fade out, and you already see there's a fade in and a decay uh, knob. There's a lot you can do with this. For practice, it is killer. For creating soundscapes, it is killer. Um, doing drones and stuff in your uh, in your performances. I mean, the it, it's a creative tool that you have to kind of find out how to use. It wouldn't be TC if they didn't add tone printability. We're not going to go into the app. Um, I looked into the phone app where they have all the pedals the, the infinite is not in there and i'm pretty sure my app is uh, up to date I, I i would think so because it's got the plethora and everything but it's not in there so i think you have to use the desktop app but in there you can already see this tp1 tp <laughs> bungo for my tp for my bungo it's a thing from two guys i don't know uh tp123 there are tone print presets in there and those are killer and i'll show you why they're killer but of course that means you can do your own so let's go into the things they just made better than I think any other freeze pedal that I've had so far, which wasn't many, but I'm pretty sure that this is the freeze pedal you should have. You click in verb, which means that the freeze atmosphere will go through verb, which is just nicer, but also your guitar. So let's say what you want to practice arpeggios and let's say you want to practice in uh, inversions of chords and arpeggios in A. Well, it's very nice to actually have an A behind it to check if you're right. So we're doing an A. And now I have reverb. can see it doesn't immediately go away, determined by the decay knob. Oh, I'm sorry that boop, 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 at the end, that's my gate. I have a gate on it because there's usually some, some pickup noise and stuff. So at the very end, you would hear a little bit of boop, 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 because, you know, 
that's already very cool. Of course, if you're overlapping chords, you have to know a little bit about harmony, what works and what doesn't. If you have super long decay and fade in, which means the new chord will take a while to come in while the old chord is still staying there. If you have two incompatible chords, that's a problem. So let's do immediate bye-bye, but long hello, okay? Well, that clearly doesn't make a lot of sense, right? And realistically, there is a little bit of a delay from when it's coming in because I'm playing and then I'm reaching over because it is on the table and obviously it would be at the bottom of your feet. And as you're strumming, immediately you can trigger the hold. I'm going to try that with, uh, you know, tapping the chord. Let's see if that works. You have to get used to playing it. it. It it actually is kind of like an instrument. If I have a shorter fade in, that would make more sense than the other way around. works nicely if you want to go crazy have it come in for a long time and have it go away for a long time stuff. What if you wanted to layer some things, kind of like a looper, but in a freeze way? Well, that's where you actually have layer one, layer two, layer three. That is what L1, L2, L3 is for. And let's say what I was, I was just doing is cool, but then you want to add the bass note to it. Well, this is how you would do it. You will add a second layer. I will hit the A. Okay. Let's see if I'm in tune here. And then I will actually do a second layer, well, maybe a power chord or something, okay? So any new layer that, wait, how do you actually turn it off? A double, double tap. So any new layer that you're adding will erase the layer before. So you're stacking and again, wrap your head around it, how to do that. And that harmonically, you're actually not getting the chords in each other's way. You can do the same thing with three layers. So let's do a basic triad. Let's a, do a low thing and then some nice upper structure harmonies. So we're doing the A. But now you have to consider the three layers are on, the A chord, the low note, and the high stuff. If I now add another layer, let's say my E, it will not erase all three. It will erase the first one, which would be the A. So I've got an E over an A, 
with that on top. Stuff to understand when you're doing this, if you're actually changing chords. So let's see. Double click because when I clicked it once, it merely erased one layer. It'll it, to use it effectively, especially in a band kind of setup. It'll take a while for anyone doing ambient stuff. It makes total sense because you you are kind of in the same tonal center. If you're changing chords, think. Okay. Now, if you want to stack and stack and stack and stack and never kill anything then it's the vegan setting where you never kill anything. It's the infinite setting. You stack and stack and nothing ever gets erased. <laughs> So it was all there. Way cool stuff. If you only wanted to use it as a an effect, let's say you're playing a really cool chord at the beginning of the chorus and you want that to come in and swell and then go away. Now we're talking. Go to momentary. <laughs> Let's say we want that to come in faster, but stay longer and be louder. You have more control with shorter decay and shorter fade in. Maybe now the fade in was a little bit too fast because it was creating some pumping there. So uh, oh, and I was on infinite, which technically technically shouldn't matter because I was triggering it every time with momentary. Let's try this again. A little bit longer decay makes sense. So you can definitely generate some really cool atmospheres. Wouldn't it be cool if the freeze part was running through flanger, phaser, tremolo, and you could really create this great atmosphere that's independent of your normal guitar signal? Yes and no, it depends on because everything's going out of the out and then that normal guitar signal still carries on. But... Only the decay part, only the, the, the freeze part can be um, sent through an effects loop. So there's a send and a return right there. And if you look at the table, I'm sending it through the Zeus right now, which is a clony kind of a thing from TC. So check this out. I'm going to go latch again.
Now, obviously, an overdrive is a little bit boring. Imagine you're doing a chopper kind of tremolo thing. There's a lot of stuff you can do with that pad. Latch and momentary, we've covered. We've covered dry and verb. I would have the verb on all the time because it's it's a nice one. So, but apparently they added on the on those tone prints, which with the desktop app, you can do things yourself. It sounds like some built-in effects. It sounds like it's going through stuff. <laughs> So there's clearly some kind of vibe pitch modulation going on, right? Just cool shit. Let's go to the next one. And obviously online with the desktop app and a USB cable, there are a bunch more. I can imagine even using this in productions where you're really just creating one really cool uh, pad and then stop the recording for the next chord, build the next pad and just stack it like this in your DAW. Be freaking creative. Now this one is very cool because it's actually a kill dry. We don't hear this. See? That is just cool. There's no other way to say it. I love the, that kill dry setting because if used correctly in a production, screw the synthesizers, put your re, put tons of guitar pedals into that loop and affect that, that hold. It's way cool. Now, again, with the stacking of the layers, you have to know how to do it. It helps to know what chords work with each other. But if you're working on a drone and you're working on one chord and stacking that, there is so much you can do. Uh, I think I think this is all we need to say about the infinite, realistically. I think they took the idea of the freeze pedal and put steroids on it. I mean, tone print, which means you can do your own presets. Uh, obviously, latch and momentary is something that these have to have, and I think they all do. The addition of the reverb makes it so much more pleasurable to play while it's freezing. Um, and of course, that send and return loop is 
killer because even just turning the, the distortion on is so much fun. But imagine what you can do if you put an X3 or something into it and just, you know, make it stutter, delay, so many things. So uh, it's fun as a practice tool and most certainly as a creative tool for the life pad generation intros, bridges, um, and in a studio to build pads, guitar pads behind choruses and stuff. I can absolutely see that. And these things are not, you know, ridiculously expensive. This is, I don't know, 159, something around uh, under 200, which is, it says TC on it. It's fair. So they, of course, commissioned this video. And of course, that's not why I'm saying it's cool. It's cool. I'll put links below that you please use to Sweetwater Automan because that really helps me run the channel. It really does. Thank you for doing that. Thanks, Leslie, for switching. And as always, animals at the end. Or do you feel life passing you by? Or do you feel life pass you by? Drinking, smelling cigars